Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to solve another block diagram reduction problem and this problem has multiple input and multiple input. The problem is for the system represented by the block diagram shown in figure find C2 by R1. So this is the given block diagram and this block diagram has two inputs R1 and R2 and two outputs C1 and C2. Here we are asked to find only C2 by R1. So here you have to consider C2 and R1 alone. We have to remove C1 and R2. So when you remove C1, the block G3 which is connected with C1 will be removed. So here this is the block diagram that is reduced block diagram. Here G3 is, G3 which is present here is removed here. And the next one is here R2 is connected with the summer and I have to remove this summer. When you remove this summer, the block H2 which is connected with this summer will get connected to this summer S3. Here the type of feedback is that is positive and here also positive. So just you have to connect this H2 to this summer directly. This is what I have done here. Right. So this is your summer S3 and this is your summer S1. Right. So this is our first step. And the second one is eliminating the feedback loop. So here G4 this is the feed forward element and here this is your respect to feedback. So the type of feedback is unity feedback since we don't have any blocks here. We have to assume that there is a block there is a block with value 1. That's it. And the type of feedback is negative feedback. Right. Now we are going to eliminate this feedback loop. So I have drawn here separately. Here there is G4 and here I am having a unity feedback. So the general formula is G divided by 1 plus GH. Right. So here in the place of G I am having G4 and in the place of H I am having 1. So just substitute the values you will be having G divided by 1 plus G into in the place sorry that is G4 G4 divided by 1 plus G4 in the place of H I am having 1. So the final value will be G4 divided by 1 plus G4 right. Now I am going to substitute this value here. So here it will be G4 divided by 1 plus G4 right. So this is our step number 2. And the step number 3 is now listen carefully here these 3 blocks are in series connection right. Because here the output of H2 is given as input of this G4 and this output of G4 is given as input to this G5. So these 3 blocks are said to be in series connection or cascade connection right. So the step 3 is combining blocks in cascade. So as these 3 blocks are in cascade, we, have, we can reduce this by using the formula. Just we can multiply these 3 elements. That's it. So I had drawn here separately H2, G4 by 1 plus G4 and G5. So just multiply the elements here. We will be having G4, G5, H2 divided by 1 plus G4. Right. So this is our reduced block diagram here. So just substitute the values, write this expression here. So you will be having G4, G5, H2 divided by 1 plus G4. Right. So this is our step number 3. And the next step is splitting the summing point. So here I am going to split this summing point. Since the summing point has multiple inputs, that is 1, 2 and 3. It has 3 inputs. So, I am going to split this. So, while splitting, so listen carefully. First, I am taking this plus sign and this plus sign here. So, I, here I have drawn a separate summer with 2 positive signs. And the next one is, again, the same input. There is this positive input comes here. And here the feedback is negative. So, here I am drawing this negative sign. Right. And again, 
just observe at this point that is the output of G1 is connected to G2 as well as it is connected to this block G4, G5, H2 by 1 plus G4. So just here I have redrawn this above diagram that is output of G1 is connected to G2 right. So the output of G1 here this point is connected to G2 as well as this output from G1 is connected to this block and here the output from G1 is connected to this block. Right. Hope you are clear with this. That's all. This is our step number 4. Now I am going to proceed with step number 5. So the step number 5 is eliminating the feedback path or feedback loop here. So Listen, so this is your G1 and the output of G1 is again taken and it is given to its input. So here G1 is the feed forward element and G2 is the feedback element. So again the general formula is type of feedback is negative. So the general formula will be G by 1 plus GH. So this is G and this is our H. So in the place of G I am having G1 divided by 1 plus again G1. In the place of H I am having G2. That's it. G1 divided by 1 plus G1 G2. So just write this value here. So G1 divided by 1 plus G1 G2. Right. So this is our step number 5. And the next step is combining the blocks in cascade. So here again this block and this block are in series connection. Right. The output of one block is given as input of the other. So, these two blocks are in series connection. So, what is the procedure to combine blocks in cascade? Just we have to multiply. So, here I have drawn separately. That is this block is drawn here and this block is drawn here and these two are in series. So, just multiply the elements. So, when you multiply you will be having G1, G4, G5, H2. Right. Divided by 1 plus G1, G2 into 1 plus G4. Right. This is our final output of this combination. So just write this expression over here. So when you write you will be having G1, G4, G5, H2. The whole divided by 1 plus G1, G2 multiplied by 1 plus G4. Right. Now the next step is again eliminating the feedback loop. So here this is your feed forward element and this is your feedback loop that is from the output again I am taking some input and giving it as input to this summer. So this is your feed forward element and this is your feedback element. So the general formula is we can write it as G divided by here the type of feedback is positive feedback. So here you have to write it as 1 minus GH right. So, this implies in the place of G, I am having this one. So, G1, G4, G5, H2 divided by 1 plus G4 multiplied by 1 plus G1, G2. This is G. The whole expression divided by 1 minus again G. So, in the place of G, I am having this one. So, G1, G4, G5, H2 the whole divided by 1 plus G4 multiplied by 1 plus G1, G2. So, 1 minus G multiplied by H. In the place of H, I am having H1. So, just write the value here. Now, we are going to take LCM. So, when you take LCM, you will be having G1, G4, G5, H2. The whole divided by 1 plus G4 into 1 plus G1, G2. And divided by here when you take LCM you have to multiply this expression with 1 here. So when you take while multiplying you will be having 1 plus G4 into 1 plus G1 G2 minus G1 G4 G5 H1 and H2. Just this H1 is multiplied with this term. And whole divided by 1 plus G4 into 1 plus G1 g2 right so here in this case these two denominator terms are same so these two terms will get cancelled and the final expression will be we will be having g1 g4 g5 h2 the whole term divided by 1 plus g4 
1 plus G1 G2 minus G1 G4 G5 H1 and H2. Right? Hope you people understand this. So now I am going to write this, write this expression here. So while writing we will be having G1 G4 G5 H2 whole term divided by 1 plus G4 into 1 plus G1 G2 minus G1 G4 G5 H1 and H2. Right. Now this feedback loop is eliminated and here this is our output of this feedback loop and here I am having this G6. So just write this G6 as such. Right. And our final step is here these two blocks are in series. So just we have to combine this. Just we have to multiply the, these two elements. So when you multiply you will be having G1, G4, G5, G6, H2 divided by 1 plus G4, 1 plus G1, G2 minus G1, G4, G5, H1 and H2. So this is our final output of this problem. That's all the problem gets over here. Thank you.